be quick just in case they take this down, but Ninja Legends 2 is out and in testing. Nin Ninja Legends 2. What? Guys, this is not clickbait. I don't know if it's officially out when this video is live, but it's out right now for testing. As you can see, the official script block scene studios has been working on Ninja Legends 2. If you don't know what Ninja Legends is, I don't know what you're doing. You're living under a rock, but this game basically took the Roblox scene by storm. It has a billion, one billion visits and almost three million favorites. And this was a huge game on the Russo Plays channel. So I am super excited for Ninja Legends 2. Let's just hop into the game, brother. Uh. I'm so sorry. First though, if you guys are hyped, smash that like button. We need 10,000 likes. If you guys want to see some double uploads, Ninja Legends 2 content, please let me know in the comments. I'm so down. Subscribe if you're new and let's hop right into Ninja Legends 2. Dude, I can't believe we're actually playing this. Oh my God. Alrighty, so just like the last game, I had to mute the music, but here is the, the tutorial when you first get in the game. This is what you see. Hello, Russo Talks. Welcome to Ninja Legends 2. This tutorial covers some game basics. Double tap space bar to double jump. So it looks like they do still have double jumps and the UI looks pretty similar, but there's elements, there's shards, there's tokens. So a few different things going on here. And it also looks like there's more like animations and stuff and the UI should look a little better. Train with your blade to gain element, sell element for coins. So you're not actually gaining ninjutsu, it's actually element. That's a difference in this game. Okay, interesting, interesting. Purchase new item skills, with your purchase new items and skills with your coins, such as more double jumps, travel higher to unlock new planets. Each planet has new items, pets, and chests. Pretty similar to the other game, but look at the builds. The builds look more unique. You'll need to parkour each planet, unlock more double jumps to do this, of course. Unlock new pets with each pet orb. So they have a different thing. Instead of crystals, it's like a pet orb. You can find pet orbs in many locations. Oh, what is that pet, bro? Pets help you progress faster. Keep hatching pets to stay powerful. Gain pet XP to level up. Your pets, high level pets, give more boosts. Okay. Evolving a pet will greatly increase its boost. Of course, we know this. Use your pet index to view all the pets you can collect. So you can actually look at an index. That's pretty sick. Collect more pets to increase your multiplier. Oh, interesting. And then complete quests to earn rewards. You can find quests MPs. So there's actually quests in this game. There's a lot more to do in this game, Ninja Legends 2. Um, you also have weekly quests. Story quests and weeklies, guys. You have to smash the like button and comment down below if you want to see some Ninja Legends 2 content. I'm honestly hyped about this because the channel's been kind of bland lately. There hasn't been any big games, and I think this game is going to blow up, and it seems really, really cool. The first game still has 8,000 playing. They haven't updated the game in like a year. Defeat the game boss for huge rewards. Oh my gosh. You may need help from others. You can earn tokens from defeating the boss or completing some quests. Fritz will target you when in range. There's turrets in this game. Chests give you huge rewards. Chest rewards increase each time open. Oh, that's interesting. Each time you open a chest, it increases. Meditate on the volcano to earn shards. Only the volcano master can meditate there. Training areas give you multiplier boosts. You must own the required evolution to use them. And Ninja Legends 2 updates regularly. That is an amazing sign, guys. I'm not even kidding. This game basically took over my channel. I know I'm taking a while to get into it, but seriously, I'm just so hyped and I hope you guys are as well. I might even post two videos today. I hope you guys are excited for some Ninja Legends 2. Now let's hop into it. So first of all, the first thing you notice is the builds look so cool. Look, there's things flying around. Oh, I'm not even just saying this. I'm not even kidding. Like, I th at first, I thought it was the same exact game. I was like, this isn't really different. Look at this. Look at the builds, bro. Look at the builds. The Electro Orb and the pets have this, like, revamp to them. Some of them still kind of look similar, but look, you can even hover and see the stats. They added a lot of UI details, animation details, and just, like, really cool stuff. So I'm going to basically try and become the best at this game by the end of this video. And probably, uh, you know, every single day, I'm going to just be grinding this game. <laughs> when this game was big, I was uploading every single time there's an update. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because I'll upload every single time there's an update. As you can see, there's already people on the leaderboards. So I got to start getting there myself. Looks like there's a group rewards. We can collect that, of course. Nice. Oh my. And look at the UI. The UI is literally, it's like a... It's like a virtual interface. Like you could see, that's really cool. They actually did a really good job with this game, guys. 
All right, so as you can see, as we slash, we earn elements instead of ninjutsu. Basically the same kind of concept as the other game and most simulators, but instead it's elements and you have like different so swords. Cause it sounds like, it sounds like a saber almost. You know what I mean? I don't know exactly what it is, but it does sound like a saber. But look, here's the shopkeeper, the same shopkeeper we know and love. What's up, buddy? How you doing, brother? All right, so let's check out what we got here. We start off with a dagger. Now look at this UI. It's got such an upgrade. You can tell just the feel of it, like the hovering and the, the clicking, the movement of the icons. A lot of it is polished and it seems really, really nice. By the way, this is in testing. So as this video is out, if you guys go to play it, I'll link it in the description. I'm pretty sure that your stats will not save. So I'm just warning you guys, like I, I don't know for sure if they will. So make sure you look at the game description and the title of the game. If it's in testing still and it says it won't save your data, don't buy stuff yet. It's up to you, you know what I mean? But use code Russo and buy members of Pretty I'm just saying. All right, so you can also get crystals. These are what hold your capacity. So these hold the capacity for uh, element. This is the blade. And then this is the evolution, just like the rank upgrades. And then look, permanent planet. If you get this one, you get a permanent planet. So every few ranks, you get a permanent planet. That's insane. This is so cool. All right, well, let's, let's go ahead and buy this. We can already buy a few. So let's buy this. Not bad. And this. Oh, we can't buy that. All right, so we automatically bought like four daggers up. Now we can sell instantly. The problem is it's going to be that scenario where I'm basically just auto selling. So I need to get like an infinite or a really, really big um, crystal. And I have tons of time to do that, guys. I just want to check out the entire game and basically show you guys all that's in store. So. Let's actually go off the, whoa. There's like more animations now when you double jump. Oh, that's sick. That's actually really cool. Oh my gosh, the Ultra Doom Colossus. So you need a required evolution spirit warrior to get this pet. This thing looks crazy. Then here are all the planets. Look at the, like the builds. Just everything is so premium. There's like ships floating around and turrets moving. So here's the planets right here. And I guess in order to start jumping, you basically just have to do what you'd assume you do and just, you know, go up this and then start actually jumping. But since I don't have that many double jumps, I'm probably not able to go to the next area. Um, discover the planets above to unlock these spaceships. Okay, what's this? So this is the Forgotten Legends orb. You can get tokens and then buy this, but I need, I don't know how to get tokens. I think I have to go on the volcano. For this one, I need 2K shards and I don't have shards yet. So definitely can't do, oh, I can collect shards. Whoa, the animation for that was sick. And this, there's an evolution Hydra. There's a freaking pet that you could talk to. Guys, I know there's a lot happening at once, but I'm, I'm just genuinely like very surprised at this. I'm not even kidding. This is pretty impressive. It, it's way better than the first game. I see you're brave enough to talk to me. Most are too scared. If you want pets that are strong like me, you must learn about pet evolutions. Evolving a pet will greatly, greatly increase the boost it gives you. I know this, I know this. I know this, sir. Okay, so now I got a quest. So all that, the UI and the animations, that was so cool. Um, so there, here's the dailies, here's the weeklies, and here's the story. So I need to evolve one pet in order to get that. I don't really have any pets right now, so I can't really do that. What's this? This is a training area. Um, I can't really benefit from this training area right now because I don't have that evolution. So you need certain evolutions in order to access certain areas. You can also run around and collect coins if you want to. And you can also go over here to the volcano and be the volcano master and meditate for tokens. But since this guy's in here, oh, nice. I'm getting a ton of shards. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. I think it's 2000 shards. It's kind of a lot, but I need shards in order to buy some pets. I really need to start getting pets. And then that's when I'm going to be like actually advancing in the game. Let's take a look at the game passes because I know that, uh, you know, there's gotta be, oh, I got benefits from premium as well. Not, wait, did I get a free pet from it? Oh, no, I didn't. Wait, I thought I did. What, what's what's the benefits? Uh, One free pet slot. Oh, okay, not actually a pet. So I got all the premium benefits. Let's check out the store. In the store, they have different boosts, which of course, I feel like we gotta get. But first, we need to see if there's an infinite and there is infinite element guys i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna buy the infinite element i gotta become the best in this game i i'm genuinely hyped about this and i think i'm just gonna get infinite element here guys times three element we gotta get it 
We gotta get it, bro. I don't know if it's just because I'm so hyped about this game or because it's actually impressive, but something about the game to me is so much more premium. And if you watch videos on the first game, guys, you'll see what I mean. This game is a step up for sure. And the first game has 8,000 playing right now. I think this game's gonna blow up. So definitely subscribe if you wanna see some update vids because I'm gonna post them frequently. All right, now that we got Infinite Element, this is where we start breaking records, okay? I'm gonna turn on auto train for two whole hours, all right? Bam, now it's auto training. But now I'm gonna turn on 10 times coins and 10 times shards. Look at this. I'm getting, I'm getting like what? I'm getting 36 per shard. Now when I turn on 10 times, I'm getting 420 per. So now I have 2,000. Just like that, I have 2,000. And I'm going to get two mega slots. I literally don't even know what that is, but I'm basically just going to buy all the game passes, bro. Screw it. <laughs> I'm buying all the game passes. I got to do it. I got to do it. All right. Now that I have almost 5,000, there we go. 5,000 shards, no big deal. Let's go over to the Inferno Sensei. I think this is another quest, right? Welcome, ninja. Blah, 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 blah. So you basically just have to talk to them and then you get your quest and you can check the quest log. But um, that's what I got. There's literally pets and like NPCs all over the place that you can talk to to do quests. That's so cool. And then the builds, it's like this ninja futuristic city. There's like orbs everywhere. Bro, this is nice. I really like this game a lot so far. Um, I'm definitely hoping that they update a good amount and we can post videos on it very frequently because uh, my channel hasn't been having many super popular... My channel hasn't been having many super popular games on it right now. So uh, definitely excited for this one. All right, let's grab that. Well, oh, that was a big coin thing. And look, there's the coin apprentice. But for now, oh, there's also a daily spin. There's fortune spins. Let's go ahead. Don't mind if I do. Guys, trust me, I'm probably gonna have to make a part two of the first episode of this game because there's literally so much to do. I can't even cover it all. So trust me, I'm gonna cover it all and I'm gonna become the best in this game. All right, I just... I'm trying to cover it all right now. Scrolls coming soon. So that's a new thing that they're going to be adding. Look at the builds for it. So cool. There's tips all around the map. And here is an astral orb for 5,000 shards. So I can buy that for 5,000 or I can buy this Electro one for 2,000 and get two of them. But I think I want to get this one. I think I want to go big. I'm going to buy one of these. I'm buying one. Oh, I got the Neptune Enforcer Advanced. So that's an advanced pet. So I got the Neptune Enforcer. It's an advanced pet. It's got two times shards and 1.5, or 1.5 shards, two times coins. So let's equip that. That's my first pet, baby. Let's go. All right, now I actually need to get powers. So what do powers cost in this game? They cost coins. Okay. And powers will be in the game. But in order to get this, uh, the, the jumps, I'm gonna need coins. So that's gonna be a little bit pricey right there. All right, here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to buy some more blades. Let's buy all. Bam, we bought a freaking battle glove. Nice, it looks like a Thanos glove. All right, so now what I sell, I'm making crazy money. And this is the this is the thing that's making all that noise, that like weird uh, saber noise. But I have four times jumps now. If we do this a little bit longer, I could probably get to like five jumps and that's probably enough to get to the next area and then we can start seeing where things really get but i don't know i think there's only like four areas out right now so comment down below how far you guys got and what kind of ninja powers and and daggers and weapons you got and what rank you got etc oh i need 600k for this i need a little bit more all right let's grind just gonna get 600k easy peasy i don't have any souls karma or tokens yet we're gonna we're gonna experiment with that i died that was a little bit awkward but again, like I said, this is testing, at least for right now. So I don't know if the game is gonna like shut down again and reset your, your progress. So gotta be careful when grinding. Just make sure you guys are aware of that. All right, here we go, 600K, nice. So now I have five, that guy was sounding kind of creepy. All right, we got five jumps. So now we can make things happen. Now we can get to planet Zephyr. Let's go ahead and jump on this right here. To get started, here we go. One, two, three, four. Nice. Oh, these platforms are way more appealing now. They look sick. Oh, they like change color when you land on them. Oh my God, there's a turret shooting me. 
There's a turret. You gotta actually dodge turrets. That's crazy. All right, so I made it here. I don't know where I'm supposed to go right now. Here. Uh, unlock more double jumps in the power shop. All right, go up this. Let's go here. Ooh, nice. We got a 10K element award and we just got a lot of shards for that. But where do I go next? It's kind of hard to know where to go at some point. Oh, there's a target, or uh, a turret. All right, uh, I think we got to make it there. Do we, wait, which island? Where's the, where's the actual island? Oh, is it right there? Oh God, this is going to be tough. All right. Um, eh. Eh. Oh no, this is going to be hard. No, this is, this is what I experienced all over again, guys. In Ninja Legends. All right, let's go here. Oh, I'm targeted. Ah. Ah. Okay, I made it here. Guys, it's harder than it looks. The, the parkour now is actually pretty challenging because they added turrets. So you're getting like shot at the same time as you're jumping. It's pretty intense. Ah. Oh, I made that. I made that. Nice. We make those. We make those. Okay, let's go here. Let's grab this. A lot of coins. Where do I go next? Where do I go next? It's actually hard to tell. Um, I guess I go here. Nice. Made it. Nice. You've almost reached the next planet above. Okay, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. We're almost to the next planet. Can we do this? Where do I go? How do I get up there? I don't know how to get to that one up there. Um, hmm. can I jump on these meteors? Oh, I can jump here. Nice. Oh, I'm targeted. I'm targeted. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. This is hard. This is insane. All right, that thing is shot out now. So, uh, you basically have a second to jump on it. And then you got to go quick. Can you jump on these? Oh no. Bro, how do I even get up here? This is insane. After failing that jump a million times, I realized that I might need more double jumps. I'm not really sure. Maybe I just suck and maybe this is just hard, but I'm gonna buy all. I can't even buy it. Oh my gosh. That's all I could buy. I could only buy five and one movement speed. So that's it, man. I mean, you, you basically have to do it with this amount. That's gonna be tough. Not gonna lie, this is gonna be pretty tough. I, I don't, maybe there's a path that I'm missing. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make it to the next island, but dude, they made this game harder in like a, a good way. It's, it's not gonna be like so repetitive going to the next island. It's gonna be like actually unique every time. And I, I like that a lot. I never made it to this area. So maybe I was just missing this platform, but I think I gotta go to that platform or that one. And eh. yep, easy. Easy. Easy! We made it! We actually made it here. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so now that we made it to this next area, you guys can see each area seems like it's under a dome or something, or at least this one does. It's also got a chest right here. Shows you all the rewards, because I think you actually earn different rewards every time you open the chest. That's pretty sick. So it's different every time, and that's something no one's ever done. I like that a lot. All the portals, they put so much effort into. There's actually like a ship that takes you back. I'm telling you, dude, this game is gonna be big, but I think I'm gonna wrap up here, guys. I'm gonna leave you on a little cliffhanger. You guys can check out the game yourselves, but I'm also gonna become the best. I'm gonna make another video on this, probably upload two today. So make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell. Definitely let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see a bunch more Ninja Legends 2 content, because it's actually a sick game and I could definitely see a lot of cool videos coming out of this. So. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I've been Russo Plays. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and stay blue. And uh, yeah, leave a comment. Watch another video while you're at it and have a nice day. Bye.